once beat trails across North America. Ah. by the wolf. Tens of millions of black. And the endless rolling plains. But when the West was won, the bison and the mate the people depended on them lost. In the last decades of the 19th century, bison range shrank drastically. By 1908, only about a thousand bison remained, most in captivity. 23 wild bison beat the odds in the remote corner of Yellowstone National Park. And here, their comeback began. Now their descendants number about 5,000. But wolves have a sadder tale to tell. Despised and persecuted, they were exterminated in the park by 1926. Then, in 1995, Yellowstone reintroduced Canadian gray wolves. Park's new wolves felt at home among the elk. They instantly went on the attack. Stunning success. But most of these Canadian wolves had never seen a Thunder Base. Today, for the first time in 70 years, the ancient enemies face off. As they revive their age old conflict, the wild heart of Yellowstone beats again. Spring is a season of violence and rebirth. A bison cow heads alone into a wolf filled world. Only one instinct has the power to make her leave her herd. Labor moves quickly. She checks for life. It's a bull. He's 40 pounds of pure instinct. These first hours are critical. He should be on his feet in 10 minutes, and in an hour, ready to run. And he'll need to run. During his first year, his herd will migrate through the northern range, where wolves rule the turf like street gangs. The slew big pack. The druid pack. The Agon Creek Pack. These wolves have only begun hunting bison. But they get it. Pursued by ravenous killers, this calf will be a constant target. He only has a 50-50 chance of surviving the year. 